Hello and welcome my friends, it's me Reef again and you guys are joining me for another first impressions video. This week I am taking a look at a look, not a loot, a look at Mud Runner, a spin tires game. Now for those of you that don't know, spin tires is or rather yeah, well it still is a hugely popular off road simulator game where you try to get through mud and shit with Russian vehicles. It is pretty well done and I highly suggest trying it out. The awesome people at Gamesplanet have given me Mud Runner, which is based on spin tires and related to it. So here I am, gonna try it out for you guys. I have played a bit of the game, especially with some friends. The multiplayer is amazingly fun. Co-op sadly only supports up to four people, but four people, it's, it, it gets a bit hectic and I, and I do like it. And um, obviously, because I am an avid 4x4 fan, I mean, you guys, there is videos on my channel of me going on 4x4 trips with my own car and other cars. And so you guys know, this 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 thing is me. This this is my thing, this. But yeah, let's go. Let's uh, show you guys the game. Uh, I only played many... Well, yeah. Well, we'll do the bog. Complete to an initial progression point. Okay, um, start. New game, casual. Because yes, I'm casual. Manage mods. Choose trucks. I have quite a few to choose from. Mm. I honestly don't sometimes know the difference between some of these things. But I guess we can keep a standard, right? Yeah. Yeah, let's keep it started. Let's just start. Um, I have found that the game has a bit of a buggy camera with the mouse, so I'm going to play with the gamepad. Um, I do not have a full fuel tank, but it's good enough. Um, I want a low carriage. Okay, good. Let's uh, start the engine. Oh man, so good, so good, so good. Games visually does look amazing. Um, it has the flock. Does it need it? We'll see. Uh, no, I want to change the camera angle a bit. It's a, it's a bit of a trick. Come on, get, get, get back. Fuck it, let's try the mouse in. Okay, no worries. So first things first, we have to figure out where we need to be. So we are here at the garage with our truckie and we can take this road to the lumber mall, which is over there. Or I think ideally we'd want to first explore the area. So what I shall do is change to a different vehicle. Let me just make sure that there's none be I may want to change to here. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Just uh, pop it in reverse. Go into uh, advanced. No, no. I want to go into advanced, yes. I want to change truck. No, that's not the thing. See, there's a bit of a... bit of a thing going on here. Aha, uh -huh. almost fucking... There it is. Advanced. No, I want advanced. Did I, did I just connect the fucking... Fuck it. This, this is not going well. Um, release, release the fucking winch. Change truck. I want that thing there. Okay, good. Uh, we want a spare wheel. For the trunk. Trunk, yes, install. Good, good. So we can carry some extra fuel. We have lots of fuel. That's just good. And um, let's uh, start the engine. The 
disable park brakes, put all wheel drive on and go. Time to explore. We just need to fix the camera angle and not drive into something. So here we go, finally, after quite some time of fucking around. My um, apologies, and I do think it's this direction. So first things first, I am going to explore the area so that I know where is what on the in this map. And as you guys can see, things are going fucking slowly in this mud. So I'm going to engage, not park break, diff lock. To, to make things a bit easier. I have to say, I really do like the visuals of this game. The the, the 4x4 aspect itself is weirdly more difficult than it is in real life. <laughs> I don't know if it's just because these Russian vehicles are horribly fucking crappy. But, um, but that's just how it is. I have to say, this UAV thing kind of looks like a Land Rover. And I do like a Land Rover, even though some of them do tend to leak oil, and some of them have engines that can explode. I still do like them. Oh, it's a puddle. Do you think we can we can make it through? Yes, we can. The mighty Land Rover can do this. This is a big bigger puzzle. Um, let's let's see if it's not too deep. Okay, no, it, it still looks fine. We're using a liter of fuel per minute, which is not too bad. Okay, where do we need to go? Um, I'm gonna follow this road. I have to say the force feedback on this game is pretty good. Uh, my controller is giving me quite the massage at the moment. I'm just holding it under the table so that the vibrating noise doesn't affect you guys. And no, I'm not holding it anyway lewdly. But yeah, this game has a casual mode and a hardcore mode. And the hardcore mode is for people that, um, that know this game quite a lot better and there it's a bit of quite a bit of a challenge actually i mean instead of just going to like a log station picking up logs you have to physically get like a log someone with a log um crane and then physically load up the logs and then go there and as you guys can see sometimes uh, things go a bit slowly in this game it, it, it's it's not for people that are in a rush okay we are off the muddy part for now, I think. Now come on. Ah, we hit something. Took some damage there. No fucking idea what we hit. Probably a fucking rock in the middle of nowhere. Because, um... I mean, just look at this fucking place. But no worries, we can repair damage. It's not that big of an issue. <laughs> Man, this game really, really, really is a challenge. It honestly is. I mean, there's sometimes you can get so stuck that you need to winch yourself out. Dangerous water level. Ah, it's nothing to worry about. Um, am I following the road? Let's see. Yes, I am. This just turns out to be the road. The road is just a fucking river. Because, um, that makes sense. I like the visuals, eh? The, the water effects and the sand and the dust and the mud on the car. It looks so fucking good. This game is running at 1080p, full settings. Um, frame rate on my GTX 970 is average of about 48. 
Which isn't the greatest. It's 50 now. But it is an old card. It's an aging card. It's about 3 years old now. Um, and it's still doing its part. Have to give that to NVIDIA. The, the meta card that can still last quite a while. Fuck it. Let's, let's get out of the water. Or attempt to. Come on, you can fucking do it, you Russian piece of shit. Okay. Grab the water. Let me just see where that watch point is. Okay. We're going to that watch point. That's where we actually need to be. Uh, wrong button. Watch point is... That way? Okay, no problem. Uh, we'll just reverse a bit. And then we'll go this way. In the opposite direction. We just have to cross this fucking stream. Which is... A lot harder than it seems. Um, ideally, we'd use a fucking road. But I can't seem to see one, so um, it's time to hope for the best. And we have to maneuver through these trees. Not take too much damage. Uh, I, I'm hoping uh, no environmental groups are watching these videos like uh, Greenpeace and the like. I am, sorry. Oh, here's a road which for some reason I completely fucking missed. Oh, here's a watch point. How fucking convenient. Yes, drive closer to the watch point. Um, navigational map achieved. So yeah, first point of call is always go to the watch points. Okay, now that's park break. Death lock is off, we want more speed. Whoa, why the fuck is the winch on? That's weird. Um, thank you. Ah, oh, fucking use the flock. Let's just follow the road and see where it goes. We don't want to damage this piece of shit anymore, do we? Yeah, I honestly do think this is a pretty fun game. Um, I do suggest you guys check it out. There will be a link in the description. It will be a referral link as I am partnered to GameSlay.com, as you guys know. Even though that doesn't really... affect my views on some of the games. You know how I am. I... I, I I mean, I'm not a complete show, even though I do get something out if someone buys it. It's just that, um, I prefer to be honest with you guys about games. Because I want you guys to be like, yeah, Reef, we can trust you. The same way you can trust me about anime. And if you're interested in what new shows to watch, a uh, link to my blog is also in the description. And I highly suggest re reading it. It's a, it might be typo, have typos and some subpar English that you're probably used to by now. Uh, but the suggestions are legit. Too legit to quit. One thing about this game though, you're probably thinking, man, Reef, I hope the entire game is not this fucking slow. 
And no, it's not. Some of the trucks actually are fucking beasts. They go through this like... Um, I'm surprised I didn't just roll this fucking piece of shit. Um, they... Oh no, 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 Don't roll, don't roll, don't roll. Uh, let's, uh, let's go through here. This looks like a shortcut, doesn't it? Uh, to, to fix the fucking... Yes, this does look a lot better. But what I was wondering, the dirt trucks with more wheels, bigger tires and all those things, and they do this a lot better. Don't need fucking death lock on this kind of ground. And we're gonna do it! Oh, this is surprisingly muddy. I guess that's why they called the game Mud Runner. <laughs> fucking death lock. Go, go, go! Which app? Point of the game is. In each area is to complete the missions they give you. And the most of them is to collect logs and deliver them. I know it's not the most well written quests and missions, but it's fun. And I do think this game shines at its best when you play it with friends. Now, if you're thinking, man, I don't have friends, Reef. Who am I supposed to play these games with? And you're like, but, but you can play it with me. I mean, I'm your friend, aren't I? I hope I am. Or am I just this lonely guy? Well, whichever, I'm fine either way. Though secretly, if you were my friend, that would be awesome. But yeah, I'm gonna play the shit out of this game with uh, my good friend Bad Robot. Um, when I don't get stuck in this bog. Which is coincidentally the name of the map. And um, I will see you guys again next time. Anyway, have a great, great fucking weekend. And don't let the bedbugs bite. Cheers. Bye-bye.